randomized collections like this one here is cars crypto cars I own a few of these so the thing is that the each of these collections are all gener hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about something a little special a little different than what I usually do nfts how to create your own randomized nft collection we're going to talk about that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so nfts what are nfts you wonder maybe you uh, know but uh, it stands for non-fungible token that just means something that can't be duplicated that is unique that people can own but it's digital it's in the blockchain right so some lots of people are like this is scams whatever but there is some legitimate use cases for that and I'm going to show you how you can generate your own nft collection how you can ge uh, generate income from it and how that kind of works before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis471.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen showing you all the good stuff and there will be a blog post there too so let's get right to it and let's explain first of all nfts like nfts all, all over the place as you can see right here this is called the crypto punks it's one of the insanely valuable collectibles and the the randomized collections are just that they're collectibles they don't usually have a reason for being people have them just because they want to have a piece of it right so the crypto punks are like anyways like say this one here was sold for 60 eth that's 60 ethereum and ethereum is like what fourteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars right now imagine that's like millions of dollars right we can do the math but you I'll let you do the math the other the other like another one is cool cats right here um this is another collectible collection randomized right there's punks 2023 there's um the unicorns which is one of my collections the genesis unicorns there's the genesis zombies there's the solana monkeys these are all randomized collections like this one here is cars crypto cars I own a few of these so the thing is that the, each of these collections are all generated using software using randomized of first you have to create the art but the randomization is done using software we're going to talk about that but let's talk first also let's talk also about what do you get from a collection let's say for example we look at the cool cats collection if I look up here I can see that it says that the creator earnings are five percent what that means is that whoever whenever these sell five percent of the price goes back to the creator it's basically just like you know you can sell these like some you, let's say you were to make these and we're selling them see how they're selling for 0 0.85 0 0.84 0 0.8 right 0 0.93 0 0.9 that's ethereum or even if you look at something like the genesis unicorns right genesis unicorns are selling for one soul 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.2 so the genesis unicorns are I don't know if we can see on here I know it's I think it's set to five percent but I forget where you can actually see it in the in the pricing mm, yeah I'm not really sure but if I if you know these are mine right so I created these and you know they they might look like you know not it's it's not art the idea is not art it's a question of collectibles and the other thing that happens is that you have a certain percentage that have certain things like for example I can come in here and I can look at this I can say okay I've got extra stuff on there 91 of them so in other words 85 86 percent of them don't have anything extra but some of them have rollers like three of them have roller blades three of them have glasses three of them have hats and one of them <laughs> poops right so that makes that one entirely unique there's only one of them that does that or has that there's only one that has an open brain one is sold the other one uh, the other one is still listed so I mean if I was to just click on this for example just click this it'll show me just that one there 
well actually the two of them and this one is sold already and this one is available for somebody to buy at that price or to bid at a lower price if they want but the, but the idea here is that whoever created this if I go to Genesis unicorns the same thing the traits over here there's clothes so only four of them have black monzo six of them have green smoking beige smoking none white shirt orange jacket king red shirt right so these are these are what you call traits so whenever you're generating your nfts you kind of have to let's just go look at this you kind of have to you know decide on your on what your nft is going to be like the token id the name title all that stuff and set up social accounts for it and then create the artwork layers with transparent png files so basically what you do is you you create background or background right then you create the main the main body image and then you create the other traits so for example you might have like eyes you might have hair color you might have um, shirt like say for example we're creating a a person like you know like like this for example or genesis unicorns right now as you can see right here is you got clothes clothes is a layer eyes is another layer uh headwear is another layer so that means and the way it works is that say I wanted to create a collection like this what I would do uh it would be pretty straightforward all I would have to do is go and create a few images and then I would well the rest the automation is the part that's that's complicated if you don't have the software you need the software for it right but uh let me and, then, and this is what I'm what I'm going to show you is definitely I'm going to show you how to use um how to use my nft engine here to actually create your nfts so we will be showing you NF, my nft engine and we're going to be kind of showing you exactly how to use that uh basically it lets you create uh, it explains what it is random collections or how to use an nft and you write all that stuff is all here so we're going to go through that we're going to show you how to do that but before we do that we need the art the artwork right so let's just talk about creating the artwork so let's just uh <clears throat> let's just go into paint right so let's say first of all you got to decide on the uh type of art you want so for me like let's say for example I want to create um I don't know I want to create because I have a bunch of collections I'm supposed to be doing which I kind of let let slide <clears throat> I have the original unicorn yaks and I have flying unicorns and I have dragon yaks and I have bunny yaks and all these different things so uh, let's just kind of go through the process of creating something right now I'm just going to go first obviously you want to have a canvas you should be using software that allows for transparent png which which paint does not you'd have to um uh use another software for that but first let's set the size of this canvas right so i'm going to go in here file properties and i'm going to set this to let's say 1024 by 1024 all right so i'll just zoom out a little bit so i see the whole thing so i have a 1024 so obviously whatever you do is is up to you but the standard uh, there's standard sizes so if i just start with this size um, i can actually use that as a benchmark right so let's just you know draw something i want to draw a um well let's let's do like the like a something like the zombies right so i'm going to draw this and i'm not an, an artist the perfect right but uh, just going to draw like you know this will be the head and then the body right here right that looks pretty pretty funny right not not very uh artsy right but that's kind of the, the start right you can kind of do that like this and let's just put it all the way down to the bottom here and I'm actually gonna kind of clean this up a little bit afterwards let's just do that so now this will be my my shoulders are probably going to be more like this right head's probably going to be a little bit more like this and let's just say I have like an arm marks marked here and let's say the okay so that's going to be the body right kind of let's just fix it up a little bit more obviously this is not the best uh thing but the, just give you an idea that it is kind of straightforward and simple to do so over here I can kind of you know erase some parts here 
just erase some of this to clean it up and obviously I want to erase this and probably zoom in to make it easier so there right I'm just cleaning up uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and come back after I've done the basics so what do you think so far right so this is obviously not a piece of art so it would be um, important to do it the way you want it to be so really nice but I'm going to do this really quick so you can kind of see the process so let's say you have your base image like this right so that's your base image uh, maybe I can just uh, move it a little bit and yeah, move this maybe over here so it's more centered okay so let's say I save that as a new image I'm going to go into my uh, folder here I'm going to call it nfts doo -doo -doo, right in here I think I have an nft folder I'll just create a new one in here my nft engine okay so let's just correct it so sample sample person well whatever I'll just call it sample okay so in here I'm going to create a folder called layers and inside these layers I'm going to create a folder for each of the different layers so let's just say we have the background we have the um the body mm, do I want the body there I suppose actually we call instead of calling it body that's cool let's call it type okay and you'll you'll understand why and also make this uppercase background okay so uh then I'm gonna have let's say I have eyes I'm gonna have mouth I'm gonna have shirt and what else can I have um let's call this extra so I'm gonna have extra so I'm gonna have maybe a hat and smoking and the eyes the mouth the eyes the mouth let's create a nose one nose okay so now what do you do with all these so these are the traits so you got to have the traits defined to be able to use the platform any platform for that matter any tool that you use but let's just say we want backgrounds let's say background background could just be a color right uh, that's the simplest way to do it but you could also put you know an actual image of something right like a well whatever you want a, a picture of something right but let's just talk about okay so first of all uh, the type oh I didn't even save it yet okay so this will be the body the type so this will be um this will be uh let's call him so uh the, yeah so the, anyways that's the thing you gotta come up with your naming and everything else so let me just uh do that I'll just call this um let's say gold I'll call him gold so gold is going to be painted in gold so let's make gold paint this in gold and I'm just gonna save that I'm gonna save that as gold okay so then let's do a um paint this and I'm going to save this as instead of gold this will be uh it's not blue let's call him uh what is it azure azure okay then I'm gonna make uh this pink let's spin it it's still pink let's go to light pink I'll save as all oh, right I should have the hair too right so I'm going to call this pink and then let's do another one let's do a silver silver and I'll do the rest I'll come back all right so I did a bunch of other colors I did lavender and I did lime and whatever okay so now we want to talk about another layer so what does that mean the layer so if I wanted to for example um let's see now if I wanted to have the different different eyes right so for different eyes what I need to do is I need to just take everything out except for the eyes let's just do this 
So I'm just going to take this out of here. I'll just delete this. Delete everything that's around except for the eyes. There we go. So this will be the eyes. So the eyes, let's say I want to make the, some eyes like this. Oh, this has to be black. Let's make it black. So I'm going to make some eyes like this. Do another one like this. And I'm just going to fill this with... Well, actually, we need another one. Let's do this like this. And then this. And then let's let's zoom into this to clean that up. Oops. So I wanted to clean up the uh, the insides there. So I'm going to go here, clean this up like this. <coughs> clean it up, make it look nice. So what we're doing here, you're going to think you're going to see it's kind of cool. How this all fits together right so I'm doing just some cleaning up here just kind of making it look not as bad okay so that's gonna be the the eyes let's just paint this in black and let's just save this save as it'll be in the eyes over here under eyes and we're gonna call this black so black eyes right of course then we want to have blue eyes so blue eyes then we want some brown eyes no that's not really brown let's do this one brown eyes and there we go those are brown eyes and let's make these make some red eyes all these red eyes which of course you know doesn't really exist but if I go back out of here and then I just make some laser eyes I shall make some lines laser so these will be laser eyes right And then let's just put some sort of uh is there any way to put anything in here? Let's give some sort of effect here, right? I'm just gonna make this go like this. Just put some little effects on it you know we'll see how this turns out right let's go I'm gonna okay so now I'm gonna save this as laser eyes save as and this is laser all right so we have different eyes so now what we can do is I can go back I can close this up as I can go back to my folder I don't even have my folder here I actually should have went back up here and I didn't save it as a folder okay sample okay so we got the layers okay so let's go back to the type and I'm just going to take mm-hmm uh -huh. I hope I didn't mess up too much but let's take one of these uh, no edit I hope that that's still gonna I'm gonna be able to clean it up because I Oops. Okay, so let's save that as face. Let's call it base. Okay, so okay, so now we're back to the original image. So what we want now is the mouth. So the same process. So I'm gonna go in here and erase everything except for the mouth. I'm gonna go down here and delete all this, delete all this.
All right, so now I'm going to zoom in again to the mouth. So this is where the mouth is going to be on the picture, right? So that just means that over here, I'm going to do a mouth. Let's do a... So is there a way to do a... Don't even want a line, but I guess I can do this like this. So this will be the mouth. Let's do it black. So this is kind of the mouth. And of course, that part up there, we want to erase this part. Don't have anything like this. There you go. There's everything in there. And let's just take this and rotate, flip, vertical. Yeah, there you go. I'll put that over here. Obviously, this is not what a mouth looks like, but let's just say that this is the mouth file save as. Let's actually fill this with some. So we need to fill uh, the colors. I need to have a color that is not like that is very red, is going to be one, I like 250. 250 250 so that it's not white I need to make sure it's not white but it's almost white so you can't really see because so what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that the mouth is not transparent because in PNP P uh PNG images there's a transparent which is white normally it's all trend it's all the same color right so this is gonna let's just erase all this and then let's uh, I don't know let's draw something in here so you got teeth right this won't be a straight line though so you got teeth in here Oh, you got lips right you need lips this would be a little complicated to do but let me just do like a fill this up with some actually first I gotta make sure this is not uh, black make sure that this is not gonna exit from this there we go. okay so I'm just gonna fill this with some pink So the reason why there's some light white around is that it's uh, not okay. So, like, so I'm gonna save this da, 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 file, save as, and this will be in the mouth. So mouth. Let's call this pink, a pink mouth. And then let's fill it with another color. and you're gonna obviously this is not you know something really that great but it's going to give you an idea of how this works so I'm going to go through this I'm going to create the other layers and then we'll come back when I'm ready to upload all right so I've created all the layers that I want under extra I've got glasses hat and smoking under eyes I've got the black blue brown laser and red under hair I've got black blonde and platinum then under mouth I have different color mouths which won't make any sense but under nose I've got a big frontal and pointy under the shirt I've got blue gold and gray and then I got turtlenecks and under the type we already saw that all right so now now we have our layers done the next step is actually creating the collection on the platform so let's go back to the notes we have here so we have these notes we're talking about creating the artwork create the background the main body the other traits and then in my case I did you know nose hair so obviously it depends on the on what you're doing right so this is kind of what I did here all right so then we need to define the traits and upload them to the platform so let's do number four here but before we do that we need to set up an account so we go to my nft engine.com let me just log out I don't remember if this is open to uh, registrations or not if not then all you need to do is ask for ask me for an invite 
but let's just see I try, try to register here registration only by invite all right so to get an invite for this engine just go ahead and reach out to me on any social platforms you're going to see links for Facebook LinkedIn anywhere that you're whatever you're watching or wherever you're looking at this you're going to see all those there so all you got to do is get an account all right so I'm just going to log into mine and then you'll uh, we'll show you how to create a new collection all right so first let's say uh actually you know what I want a thumbnail so first we go under the account over here and we go to the nfts so there I already did a few but I'm just going to create a new one right here new nft collection and I'm going to call this buddy buddy 23 2023 right so the thumbnail let's actually pick a thumbnail let's go let's go back to my uh to all the images I have here and let's actually create uh well actually I won't have a thumb let's just use one of these for now let's just create uh cr just use one of these under under here do I have them in here type right there so let's go back to let's just say it's going to be this guy for now and this is going to be buddy 2023 whoops with two d's I guess I put two D's here too. Then I'm gonna say uh buddy is on the blockchain. Who will you collect? All right, so then I'm gonna say there's only I'm just gonna make because I don't want to have a because it'll take a long time to generate them. So I'm just gonna do like uh 20. All right. This is the total number of NFTs in the collection. You can you can do a thousand, five hundred, whatever you want but the, 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 this is actually not right and then over here you're going to have a website url which of course could be a website whatever you want you can put in a facebook page instagram twitter li linkedin so i'm going to put like my facebook right uh, facebook.com slash newlix that's my facebook account into instagram is instagram.com slash now you know if you're doing nfts you might not want to put your normal you know pl uh, platform urls you might want to create a special account for it it's really up to you and then over here seo tags and hashtags that are used for advanced sim. so I'm just going to say save right now and now I have my nft created the only thing I need to do now is add the trait so what I do here is I create add a new trait so the trait name will be the um type I'm going to call it the type and under here then I just go into the type so I've got the azure type click to add another one I've got the gold type then I have the lavender type and I have the line type so all you do is you just add these like this all the ones you have that you chose that you wanted and okay so now I have all the types I wanted and now the important thing is to define how many of these I have so a total is 20 down here you see 20 because that's the total you have in your collection so all you got to do here is you got to set you know what the azure I'm going to have two of them the, or maybe five the gold I'm going to have two lavender maybe I'll have just one of the gold and I'll have two of the lavender I'll have and you can see down the bottom it's kind of adding them up for me right so two of the line say five of the pink and five of the silver so now we have 20 so it's going to total it up and it's going to make sure that there's that many of those all right so then I'm going to add another one and this will be called the hair so the hair is going to go into the layers under the hair folder so black the blonde and platinum all right so now what we're going to do here we're going to say black is going to be like say 15 black say two uh, four blonde and one platinum all right so you just kind of decide how many of what it's up to you really but the next trait is going to be what the nose and the nose is going to be under the layers under the nose so I'm just going to keep I'm going to do all this and I'll come back I'm just coming back here so I'm doing the extra I want to show you that you can also have less than 20 so because you know some of them won't have it right so if I do the extra I'm doing the glasses the hat and the smoking right so let's say that I just want 
two to have glasses two to have hats and one to be smoking so it'll give me five with these the rest will have none right so just do that I guess there's a there's something I have to fix it should allow you to do that so right now I'm just going to go and say um actually I think I have to add a none um yeah let's do that let's just add a none I'm going to create a none and I'm going to add so there you go I just created a, a blank uh image and I'm going to make this one have 15 right so then it's it's 20. so that'll allow you to have that so then the last trade I'm just going to add the last one here which is going to be the shirt all right now comes the cool part now we've uploaded all the traits we've set them all up to be the right numbers that we want for each of them then we just click on the list and then we just say generate list now what this does is it generates a random list of what the of all these different uh um, traits so if I go back and once the list is done you can see right here that it'll tell me that e each of the images are going to have this right the type silver the herald black the nose so there's no background by the way I could have done a background but because I already did the color for the type right so if I go to commands now the default this is what you're this is the cool part you can actually have your image generated with different kind of things so let's say I just generate a test image here you'll see what it looks like it basically puts everything together hopefully this will work because you know this is I don't know if these PNG over oh, these PNGs might not be uh, transparent that's right they're not transparent so that won't work so I got to go fix that just give me a second but I'm going to show you the kind of the other thing that's important to understand is that these actually will go in this order so that means that the engine is going to take the type it's like if you had a bunch of pieces of paper that were transparent one on top of the other so you have the type that goes then the hair goes on top then the nose goes on top then the eyes goes on top then the mouth goes on top then the extra goes on top and then finally the shirt goes on top so these are all stacked one on top of the other in the sequence they're there by the way if I decide I want to change the order which in this case won't really matter all these don't matter but I can click on enable trait editing it'll tell me it'll delete my images and stuff so just go ahead and do that and then uh, this is back to need to generate but over here you have the edit so you can actually move these around if you want I can make the nose after the eyes and I can make the mouth before the nose right so I can move them around like that with these arrows and then that's kind of how that works right so let me go fix the images so that they're actually uh, transparent like they're supposed to be all right fine okay so I got the images transparent anyways that's fixed uh, also when you upload them they'll fix it but here's the cool part so now let's just turn off all these things because the default is to 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 run uh, to do these things on the image so let's just generate a test image see what it looks like so this is going to be the image generated by putting all the layers together right and if I go back to the list it's going to take the first one in there that's why it says lime and black uh, hair black eyes gold mouth no extra and then the shirt gold shirt and the nose is big all right so that's what we're getting here so now the thing is that's cool is what you can do with these first of all if you click the image it'll open up the tab showing you the full image right so obviously we'd have to fix this uh this little black part maybe make maybe make the face not not green right but for now it's just to show you how it works right so what we can do is we're going to add these commands let's let's just add the default commands uh actually before we do that let's oops I should oh I should have left it open right actually let's redo it because it resets the image if I change anything so let's just do this and we're going to open this in another tab we'll leave it open there so we can see the difference so let's enable the commands now and let's run it again and then I'll show you what you can do with that command so let's do that over here so now this is like this you can see there's a slight difference in what it looks like uh, I don't know no I guess we can't see the difference maybe there's something going on here that it's not right uh one thing is zoom in zoom in oh, okay yeah it looks like something's not working so let me fix that and I'll be right back okay so I fixed it uh it'll be fixed by the time you check so what happened is now the image looks like this which you know isn't necessarily what you want but you can see that it's kind of blurred things out these are a little little bit uh, less less you know perfect or you know lined up so what we can do is we can actually make it do different things so let's 
get the scale well this scaling so for example I see this is this is the full size one because it actually increased the size you can see there's also like a border around it down the bottom see the little border right whereas this one doesn't have a border around it so things like that so you can do all kinds of different things with the image now let's just take these out of here and let's go and add a command let's say I want to blur no let's say blur I want to sharpen I want to apply a painting effect based on a number let's do that so let's do a extreme just to kind of show you what it looks like whoops I forgot to uh, add the command there you go so it'll be paint 10 generate the test image and then we can look at it and that's not probably not what we want but look at that isn't that crazy right so let's say we want to uh sharpen we want to blur it actually let's remove this and just do the blurring so we want to blur the image let's say blur by five add generate image and then when I look at it you can see that it's like blurred a little bit you see how this is not as clear right I can probably blur it even more let's do an add a blur let's say by 10 and whoops I'm going to add that down the bottom we'll remove the blur 5 and you'll see what that does and this is the thing you can do all that with this right see the blurring so now let's say that and and this is the thing if you have a background it would be better if there was a background but this is what you do so once you've decided on all your commands you want to run let's say I'm going to add a scale here so scale the image not to a specific size scale it to a percentage let's say I want it to be 300 the size and I also want to add a border so let's say I add a border of uh, 10 <coughs> and then I want to apply a painting effect or embossed effect let's do an embossed effect 0.5 and then let's just generate this test image so you can see what it looks like then we're going to show you the next step which is generating the whole collection and as you can see it kind of affects the color too when you use something like that right so there you go so this is the image that was originally uh so I'm not sure about if it just shows a different one but okay so that's that's the test and setting up the commands like you, like you see there's probably going to be more commands by the time you get here but that's kind of how it works then you click on the image tab and you just generate the images you click on that and then you just wait for it to generate the image you're going to see a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo down here but you're going to kind of see it go up to one and then two so all the commands it's doing right and you see all that and it'll eventually finish so we'll come back when it's finished all right there you go so now all the images are generated as you can see they're here now obviously if you had more it would take longer but basically what it does is it goes through every single image in this list here and generates the image based on the layers and based on the commands that you chose over here right now after you've got the images you can actually uh go and generate an html page that lets you see a uh, lots of information about the images and this is the last step until you actually publish so if you want to publish your image like this takes a second so if you want to publish your images after this uh, you can have you can use this little website to kind of see the images if I want to go by trait right here uh, that's not looking right trait I guess something happened with this maybe because of the spaces so this is the all the images right here as you can see I'm not sure why this one has a red turtleneck and a blue shirt that's kind of weird there must be some messed up thing here but laser eyes and smoking right so this would be extremely rare but so once you have that you can actually download them all if you want to go into um into publish you can download all your assets and all generated files so if I just download all generated files it'll give me a zip I can just save it let's put it in my downloads here uh, into my downloads just to kind of see what they look like show in folder <coughs> and then I want to extract this oh, it's still downloading there we go refresh 
there we go so I want to extract here under the folder generated so this is what it'll do so obviously you have your assets which is um, the all the images you've got the uh, website oh I guess that's not there so the images list is a text file with the, the, the which is what we showed on the website and then um, under the scaled folder you've got the thumbnails of each of the images you've got the small and then you actually have the assets in here these are the actual images right so this is the number 23 this is what it looks like number 20 number uh, 8 looks like this number 12 oh, that's a json file sorry I'm looking at the wrong showing it but this is a this is an asset file as well that you might need for some uh, minting no number eight we looked at already number two right so that's kind of what you get out of this and you can do what you want with it and you can upload them but that's how you generate your own nft uh, randomized collection that you can then mint and publish yourself and sell and set up with the uh, percentage i did already in the past and the video on how to mint on uh Sol solsi uh so um so yeah so see and you can go look for that but that's that's basically it that's how you create your own nfts all right we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.